Well, I've known Jay forever, but Ronnie Dunn, because Ronnie uh, worked with Jay on Ronnie's last project, and Ronnie, I said, how was that? How was that in the studio? He's absolutely too much fun. He's a genius. He's great. He's a great musician, great arranger. He knows harmony inside and out. He's a great musician, and he knows pickers. Mm -hmm. He knows how to work with musicians. That's a great combination. That's a perfect combination for a great producer. So if you can work with Ronnie Dunn, you can work with anybody. <laughs> so I asked Jay if he would be interested in, in working with me on the album. He said yes. Well, I had been hoarding songs for a long time. God and my girlfriends I'd had for years. Um, I need to talk to you for years. And then, of course, the old songs. I went back to the hymnal that I had from Chalky, Oklahoma, and started going through that and picking out all the songs that I was familiar with, ones that brought memories back to where Grandma Smith and uh, Grandpa Smith would be singing at the little Chalky Church in Chalky, Oklahoma. It was just memories, great memories. And then um, putting those songs together, asking Jay DeMarcus, which one of these songs do you want to produce? And then I took the rest of, with Doug Sizemore, my musical director and band leader, and we produced the rest of them. Well, it wasn't my idea. I can't take the credit for that at all. But I do believe that timing is everything, and everything happens for a reason. So Bill Carter, who was my manager in the middle 80s, Got he talked to me. He said, "Reba, you really need to do an inspirational album. Now's the time." I said, "Well, all right." And then Tony Brown comes up, who produced my uh, lots of albums starting the '90s. He said, "I agree with Bill. You need to do a, a gospel album." I said, "Well, I guess I better." So I went to the record label, Jim Weatherson, and I said, "What do y'all think?" And he said, "Well, let's let's get with Bill Hearn over at Capital Christian and see what they think, and team up with them." And so everybody was for it. So I started looking for songs and. There you have it. I was just out walking around on my place and uh, just singing. I'm so happy I got the Lord on my side. And it just kept growing. That's my church. Outside is my church. And when I'm out, I, I, I talk, I listen to music. I'll talk on the phone. That's when I call mom or my sisters and, and uh, visit. And then... Um, and then I, I need to be still. I need to listen. And then I'll just walk. And then I'll start singing. I have changed by uh, learning more about myself, gaining strength, gaining wisdom and knowledge and understanding of what I'm supposed to be doing. And knowing that I can do all things when God's in control. And by just turning over so much to Him and quit worrying about everything, that's, that's the biggest fault I think I have was worrying. Um, no, I can't say that's true either because I don't really worry that much. But being concerned and think I, I can handle it and think I can control it and think I could do it. Why would you even want to when He can do it so much better? <laughs>